Hey everyone, welcome to Aragon Haven, your Aragon Hotspot. My name's Aaron, and today we're going to be doing some planking with the Umarex Gauntlet 25. We're starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome to Aragon Haven, your Aragon Hotspot. My name's Aaron, and today we are going to be doing some planking with the Umarex Gauntlet 25 PCP air rifle. So it feels so good to be back here on the channel. Um, I did take a um, little bit of a break, and that was because my moisture filter went, and I needed to get a new one and it was out of stock for a few days and then I ordered it and then it took it a few days to get here and then I was thinking maybe by the 15th we'd be able to do a video but we weren't however because um, my hose that I needed as well as my uh, quick connect mail adapter the day the items arrived was the 14th and therefore I had no time to get ready um, but now we are back out on the scene with the Umarux Gauntlet 25 and I've been filling up great. This setup works really well. I hope to get a video of that setup done very soon for you guys. I will put some pictures on the screen so you guys can see what my setup looks like now. Um, it is very nice out here today so it should be a really good day to do some planking. Um, if you guys are new here while you're here please consider subscribing for more Aragon content. That's all I do. Um, a few disclaimers before we get into today's video. Um, this gun is being shot in a safe and controlled environment and I'll be doing all this shooting at about 35 yards away and I will be using JSB Exact Kings 25.39 grain pellets um, how we're gonna do this is first of all I got some small targets down there we're gonna do first a couple snuff cans of pellet tin a um, Husqvarna two cycle bottle of oil and I even got a pencil down there so we're gonna see if we can hit a pencil with that we're not gonna spend too long on the pencil but the goal is at least to try to hit it at least if, if not if we don't hit it, that's okay. We'll come back to that in a different video. Then I got some jugs that we're going to set up down there as well. And then at the end, we will shoot these two air freshener cans. Now, these things aren't very full. You can kind of hear we got a little liquid in there. Yeah, a little. There's nothing in that one. So they still should make a little bit of a pop from just the pressure and all that. So with all that out of the way, let's get down range and do some shooting. All right, everyone, you can see we're on the targets there. We're going to go left to right. But we might actually leave the pencil for last. I don't know. We're going to go up to right over now. Go with that Copenhagen straight snuff can. This has been so long since I've done this. I did do a little shooting over the past few days, but not a whole lot. This is going to be my first major set. Let's go, guys. I've been waiting for this for a while. <laughs> Back in the saddle, guys. There we go. Alright everyone, we will get some slow motion on these two. Let's get ready for the pencil. My cameraman's gonna advise me if I hit it or not. Alright, let's move on to the other two here, then I'll put a few more rounds in. Move on to the snuff can. There we go, we hit it. Let's go for that little two-cycle bottle of husky oil. Alright, so we're going to go back to the pencil now. I'm going to do about five more rounds on it, let's say, and then we'll see. We might leave it for next time, but pencils are very hard to hit. I've hit, I think, maybe two or three. It was the most I've ever done. I think maybe one or two. I'm going to say it's more like it. Pencils are very difficult to hit. Because, I mean, you got like something less than an inch of diameter. And I'm going to be honest with you, the only pellet pencils I've ever got was with 22. So, that could be it, too. That could be it. Spend about three more rounds on this here, and hopefully we'll get this pencil taken care of here. Okay. We got the pencil. Um, I aimed over. I aimed up a little bit, so that's probably about normal. Hit a let's get some more targets set up, and we'll be right back. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and shoot these four jugs, and then we will do our two aerosol cans, and then we will be done. We'll do well. We'll do a little analysis. I just want to say again, guys, very excited to be back out here shooting again. Um, now let's go ahead and put that 45 foot pounds to the test. 
Left to right. <clears throat> water coming out of it. It's moving. Oh, I think I hit it up there at the cap or something. Shot it back. All right, we'll do about one more round, then we'll move on. Okay around it was. Oh, that jumped back. That surprised me how far that went back. It's like the water's flowing. Steadily. I can see the water bubbling. I don't know if you can see that on your end over there. How the water's bubbling up through the jug. Like it's pushing up. I don't know if you can see that real well on that big sunny, sunny blue jug now. That gallon one. I think it's a guy. Yeah, there's a guy. I'm not going to, we're only going to put five rounds in. I don't think we're going to need much more than that. Dropped it. Hit it right up in the top there. I just heard that Sunny D, I don't know if you heard that one, how it like it just went right through the water, you didn't even hear the water crack. Because it had water in it, so I just, I don't know, it's, 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 it's kind of amazing to be honest. Drop that jug. Alright, we'll put one more in just to save measure. We hit that one, that extra jug again. All right, everyone, now for the part you've all been waiting for, let's shoot the air freshener cans. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and shoot the two air freshener cans now. Left to right, as always, no other way. It's kind of twisted there. I don't know if you've seen that, like, twisted. All right, this next one's the one that should give a little bit of a pow. Actually, it gave no pow. That's surprising. All right, everyone, we're going to do a little analysis here, and then we are going to get the video wrapped up. So stay tuned, and we're going to do a little analysis. All right, everyone, now for our little analysis here. So this was snuff can number one, I believe. And there's still a couple pieces of this down there, like a lid and a couple pieces of that. I don't know where it's at. It flew somewhere. Um, this was the pellet tin and on that timber down there it actually left a piece of the metal like on there and I just brushed it off as like a small faint piece. There's the entrance, there's the exit. Kind of hit the corner there. Now the pressure did expand because of the sun um, with PCPs as the weather gets very hot the air expands as the weather gets very cold the air contracts so the air did expand a little bit but I did fire a couple dry shots out to hopefully even things back down so this is kind of still evening back down this is the snuff cam we shot next you can see things are going back to a little bit of normal now you can see there's our entrance there's our exit pretty good this was our little uh, Husqvarna two cycle oil mix this is the entrance right here um, right here is the entrance right there's the exit I did shoot a steel little two cycle mix the other day so I decided to shoot the Husky one on here and here's the pencil. That's probably what most of you guys wanted to see. Um, there is still another piece of this down there. Um, I just am not going to be able to find it. Um, when the winter comes, I know we'll find it, unless there's snow. But I think this is, and this is, I tried lining this up, so this is just the part from the top. But you can see there's the actual graphite right there. I'll bring that to you guys. You can see there's the graphite right there. And it split when I shot it. So 25 does do quite a bit of damage to that. Um, and you can see I had a hole drilled in that board that I stuck it in. So, I'm going to be around my face. 
Ever since we brought a lot of wood here, there's been a lot of bees. We brought we brought some oak here a couple weeks ago. Yeah, we brought some oak here about a week or so ago, and there has been bees ever since we brought it here. And there was no bees when we were cutting it at the place either. Um, here is our extra jug. You can see this thing is just um, ripped up in a way. Um, the bee is gone. I just didn't want to get stung by it. I, I just got stung in the back the other day. <sighs> anyway, here is our extra jug. This thing is tore up right here. There's several holes in it, and there's one up here, and I think one of these was one that was laying down as well. We shot it. And there's actually, I don't know how this is to be explained, but there is a hole in the cap. So I think that might have been the one we was laying down or something. I don't know, because there's no entrance one for that. Let's get a look at it, though. Oh, I see it. You take the cap off right there is where it went through there, I believe. I'm not sure how that one, I believe that might be how it is. I don't know. I don't know how that one even got there. They all exited though. This was our gallon sunny D jug that I wanted to show you guys that it was bubbling in. Take it off. There's a three shots right there. One, two, three. They're pretty grouped too for not really aiming at the same place. So, oh, and there's the exits right there. Here is our sunny D jug. That one that kind of just whooshed through. I did hit it up there twice. They both exited, but that's where I shot it, where it like, like right through the water and it didn't even like, the sound didn't even bounce off the water as it normally does. And it just exited. Did it exit? Yeah, it exited too, right there. See that too well, but it did. And there are two shots in this Purex jug right here and they both exited too. They're kind of very faint. They exited though. And now we got our True Living Air Freshener. This is Coastal Cool right here. You can see there is where it entered. Let's take it off. Be very careful. I always tell you this because metal don't clot. And I actually got cut the other day on a uh, chainsaw chain when I was sharpening my saw. I actually, my finger uh, grabbed one of the, I think it was a, uh, one of the teeth or one of the uh, rakers and it grabbed it. Be careful. Um, this hurt. Right there's our entrance. Right there's our exit. So it kind of ripped its way out of the metal there. Awesome as always. Ooh, look at that one right there. That is a great entrance. A lot of energy was dumped on that one. You can see that thing is probably a couple inches wide right there. Maybe, well, maybe half an inch, inch almost, maybe an inch wide. You can see right there, it ripped its way out the back. So this gun packs a very mean punch. Um, that's going to do it for our little analysis here. So um, with all this done, let's go ahead and get our video wrapped up now. So stay tuned. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, I had a really, really good time making this video, and I'm really glad we were able to get back into PCP once more. I really love shooting PCP air guns. It's just my thing. I especially love my Gauntlet 25. It's my favorite air gun that I own so far. And I mean, I have several, or I well, two. I have two other very good PCPs that I really like, but really, the Gauntlet 25 is my favorite. I really like my Gauntlet 22 as well, but just a really, really big fan of the 25 now. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like on the video. That really helps me out. That lets me know that you guys enjoy this kind of content and that way I can continue to make it. And it's also appreciated for a lot of the work that I go through to make these videos. So if you can do that, it takes a few seconds, much appreciated. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video and you'd like to see other videos just like this um, and all kinds of air gun content, while you're here, please consider subscribing for more air gun content. That's all I do here. I read about an hour shortly after now, there should be some videos popping up on the screen. Feel free to check any one of those videos out. So I'll hopefully be uploading here on Tuesday, August 29th, 2023. I do want to say one more thing before we wrap up very quickly. You guys that have been watching for quite some time now will notice that there is a little clip at the end of the video where I shoot like a target or something and I kind of wrap up the whole video in that kind of way. Keep watching past that clip today because I put a few bloopers at the end of the video that um, things that happened during the video that actually were kind of cool and I guess kind of funny in a way. So um, those will be at the end of the video to check those out this time. I just felt like that I wanted to include those this time. So uh, stay safe, everyone. I hope to see you guys next Tuesday. Bye for now.
Hey everyone, welcome to Aragon Haven, your Aragon Hotspot. My name's Aaron. We'll cut this out because I'm probably going to get stung at this point now. Is it gone? Okay. The bee is gone. I just.